The rise of digital television has prompted a growing number of TV users to drop their expensive cable and satellite services for the free channels they can get over the air. As Roger Losey will tell us now in this report, this trend is bringing back a once familiar site in most South Florida neighborhoods, the household TV antenna. When he was watching storm coverage on Local 10 last week, the tropics never looked so good to Barry Katz. That's because it was the first time in years that he was watching his television for free. I had basic cable for years, and that was enough for me. He just turned in his cable box and the monthly bill that came with it. Now, all of his favorite stations are grabbed out of thin air from his new antenna. I was most surprised about the perfect picture I was getting, and, and, and also some of the channels that I didn't get before which I'm getting now. Back in the day, before cable and satellite, these antennas were the only way to watch TV. Neighborhood skylines were crowded with them. Now it seems these metal receptors are making a comeback. The antenna business Sandy Ross started 40 years ago has come full circle. He's not even doing satellites anymore. Says the demand for free TV is back. For one reason or another, people got unhappy with um, selection on cable or satellite and the price every month was an element. Standard installation for one of these antennas is about $250, but considering what you might be paying for cable or satellite every month, that's a pretty good deal. And typically the, the antenna can last 10 years. Of course, you'll have to give up ESPN, Discovery, and those other popular cable channels, and no HBO either. But you do get all the major networks and an impressive lineup of local programming. Me TV. Katz has about 60 channels to choose from. Most of them are in HD, but even more important, he says, all of them are free. In Pinecrest, Roger Losey, Local 10 News.